Hi guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. Um, so I thought we would continue on where we left off. And it's actually the same day for me. I wish I could give you an update on how the college tour went, but we haven't gone yet. So I want to, okay, so I don't know if you are aware of this, but I really have a hard time leaving something alone. Um, even though this is a whole lot of nice journaling space, I'm going to add something to it. Um, it's still going to be a whole lot of nice journaling space, but just changed a little bit. So I took one of my images from the book that I'm using and I glued onto it one of the, I don't know what you call this, splotchy uh, pages that um, Darcy made for me. And I cut it down, you know, I attached it to the page. I just cut it down to length because that's, you know, the length of the book. And now I am going to attach it uh, as like a, a little flip in the area. I'm going to give it some space so that it's obvious <clears throat> that it's, you know, there. Otherwise it will look like that and it won't be as obvious that you can open it. So I'm going to offset it just a little bit. And I am going to find where I'm going to use my bone folder or my, my, I always forget what these are called, my this thing, scoreboard. And, but I need to mark where I'm going to score. And I think that it will be, you know, that's a good spot right there. Give me a spot to do it. All right. Just holding my paper still so it doesn't move on me. And doing it gently so that I don't put a hole in my paper. And then here we are again. I did not ink around it. Did I? I think I inked around the other side. I did. I inked around this paper on the other side, but I did not ink here. So we'll just give it a little bit of ink. It doesn't have to have it, but again, I can't just leave things alone. I'm not completely sure, but I think I'm going to do Mary Inglebright journal after this. And I don't think I'll be inking in that one. I just don't think it'll look right. So there's the challenge. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's see if I can fold it where I scored it. I didn't want to push too hard because I didn't know really what would happen. But I, I can see kind of where it is. Okay, so that is going to be attached right here and it'll open with some colorful paper and that helps you know, me to leave this alone. Um, so there's still lots of writing space, but it's not colorless. Add just a little bit of ink to this edge. I don't know that anybody would notice, but I'll know if I didn't do it. And then we're just going to glue it down. So since I just made a video a few minutes ago, I'm trying to think of what to talk about this time. And I don't know. Um, so I got something. I mean, it's just just nothing really important, but it's, it's something to talk about. So at, 
you know, for at church, we have um, something, a ladies day event that they do every year. And I help with decorations, paper sort of stuff, believe it or not. And so this year, I've had a hard time finding paper um, because the color that has been chosen for me, I didn't get to choose the color, is purple. It's, it's succulents, but the centerpieces that we're using have purple and they're provided by the place that the event will be taking place. And I, so I can't do anything about that. They are what they are and I have to use them as they are. So I've been trying to find, you know, good paper to go with for handouts and things like that. And I don't, I don't really like where this ended up, you know, um, but I think it'll be fine. I can't take it off at this point. Um, A little bit better I think so yeah I've been having the hardest time finding good paper I actually found some on Etsy and I bought them from the lady and they were some that could not be altered you know you get them and they they are the format that they are and I couldn't figure out any way to make them any different I am NOT very tech savvy and I asked my daughter about it she couldn't figure it out either so maybe really nothing could be done however she said that if I sent her you know in in the little comments okay so we're gonna leave that as it is for now and hopefully I'm gonna just leave it and so then you have you know I think that looks good um and then I'm going to add a pocket to this page here. Anyway, um, she said, email me and I can send you, because it came in A4. And the way I'm using it, it just doesn't look right. I, I was able to print it on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, but it did not look right because of what it was and the where the decoration is and all of that. And I tried resizing. There was just nothing I could do to change how it fit on the paper to make it work how I need it to work based on what I'm using. And um, so she said, if you email me, I can send you another size. I, ent I sent her three emails over a week. And then um, Etsy saw that I did not get a response from her. So then they got involved and didn't get a response from her. So they credited me, me my money back. And so now um, I just, I don't feel it's right to use the image since the, they've credited me my money back and all that. So I'm not going to use that image. I am going to back this. Isn't that an adorable image? I love it. And what it looks like to me is that they're going... Hey, cool train, don't you think? <laughs> I think that looks cute. Anyway, I'm um, gonna make sure that it fits down in there okay with all that glue I just put. It does. And I'm gonna round the corners. Anyway, so even though I did, you know, everything like I was supposed to and I, I'll, you know, and the money got credited back to me, I just don't think it's right to use it anyway. So, and, and it wasn't gonna work. It just did not look right. So then I found something else that was a free image and I was able to make that work. And I was going to take it to like one of the office supply stores that can make copies. I was gonna take it there and have them run a bunch of copies for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I called yesterday to find out what it would cost to have them run copies. And also whatever I needed to take, you know, to prove that it was an image that I could make copies of, you know, copyright stuff. And um, they told me 80 cents a copy and I needed 75 
copies. I said, no, <laughs> forget it. I actually laughed. I mean, kind of felt bad, you know, but my, my initial reaction was to laugh about it. So I'm laughing at this poor girl over the phone. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I can print it in my house for cheaper than that. I just didn't want to. Um, and I'm also supposed to, you know, whatever I buy or, or anything like that, I'm supposed to give the receipts to church so that I can be reimbursed for it. And that way also they have a record for their budget on how much everything costs for, you know, the budget for the following year. There's no way. I mean, that's just ridiculous. 80 cents a copy, you guys. And so... I am just using my husband's ink. We have a laser uh, printer, and from what I understand, that sort of ink is cheaper anyway, but you buy one big cartridge, and so I there's no way I could give the receipt and say this is what it costs, but I, still, I, I don't think it's anywhere near 80 cents a copy. If I had to guess, you know, it's probably more like... I don't know, it might be 80 cents for 10 copies. It might, it might turn out to be, you know, something like that. But anyway, so along with doing this, I've been trying to figure that out because it's actually, the event is actually in about, I don't know, about a month and a half from now. And I need to get all of the handouts decorated and I haven't even started. So... Um, anyway, I printed a whole bunch of them yesterday and can, can kind of start gluing down. Okay, we're going to glue him down and I have been using Fabri-Tac on these images just so that I'm not making this all bumpy looking. And I'm not going to do it with you, but I am going to sew around it. So um, we'll just do this part together and you can see, you know, how it looks all put together. But when I'm done, I'll, I'm going to zigzag around the whole thing. Oh, you guys, I cleaned my sewing machine. It was so gross. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was shocked at how much gunk was um, down in there. And I, I looked up a video, uh, I, cause I have the, the, um, the books and everything for my, my sewing machine, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to look up a video on how to clean it and stuff. Um, so that I don't have to think real hard. I don't have to actually read and figure it out myself. <laughs> I was being lazy. So I watched a video and I don't know. I didn't know if what she was doing was correct. And so I decided to go ahead and look at the book. It is a good thing I did because from my particular um, sewing machine, it says it is not meant to be oiled. You know, when you go and do your cleaning to get all the fuzz and stuff like that um, out, do not oil your machine. It is not meant to be oiled. And it said, do not oil where you put the bobbin. Do not oil that. She did. She was, you know, using one of those spray can things to get all of the dust out of hers. And she was putting oil in everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I went ahead and looked at the, the book before just doing what she did. I didn't have any sewing machine oil. Um, I have some for my old sewing machine and I don't know if it's you know, the same for all sewing machines. So I didn't have what I would have needed if I was supposed to oil it. Um, so anyway, but my sewing machine is squeaky clean and um, it works better now. I, I, I fixed the problem because I had said to you guys that it was skipping stitches. Well, it's not doing that anymore. So I'm very happy about that. Okay. I want to just decorate this pocket up a little bit. These were a print, a digital from Etsy, and uh, I have it down in the description box. I don't remember which place I ordered them from, but it's the one that's tickets. It's not the one that's the railroad images, but I think it's like railroad tickets maybe. 
and it came with, mm, I don't know, maybe four pages of tickets, which is cool because they can be used in, you know, all kinds of journals, not just a railroad journal. So I went ahead and cut these out before the video and I cut and inked these out before the video. So these also come with that kit and I just inked the back up and I'm gonna stick them in there, not real tight because my glue's still wet. I don't want them to get stuck, but those will be there. And then I wanted to use, I think the bit that I cut off uh, that was on here, this paper, this was the cut off part. And I want to use it, more of the blue, I think. Um, I'm going to just tear. I want to have one straight edge and one torn edge, but it's such a thin piece of paper, so it's not going to be real easy. See how far I need to go. We're gonna tear about here, I think. If I can get a hold of it again. Okay, I think. And then I found this at a thrift store and I thought that was pretty cool. I guess that it, it normally would have come with this size holes and this size holes, but when I found it, it only had this. And I had never seen one of these before. It must have been around before I got started. Um, and so I'm just going to punch and it's... I want it to be, I think this, I don't know. I'm just going to punch it and where it ends up, it ends up. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to line it up so that they're all consistently, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't think I skipped a spot. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So you just kind of have to figure out where the next one would be. I think right there. Okay. And that's that's fine. I don't mind that. So we're just gonna add that to the edge for a little bit of a little bit of something. I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. that down. I was trying to make myself um, kind of a stencil the other day using some of my old Sizzix numbers. And I have the leftover numbers that were on, that were in it, you know, that come out. Let's see, I put them up here and I was thinking I could just kind of decorate down the thing here. I'm not sure which side is supposed to be. I 
I don't like the zero. It's too fat. Maybe we'll just do that. And maybe it's too much, maybe it's too busy, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This particular paper has a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know. I think that it came from some three ring binder that the kids had for school that I took apart and kept the divider sheets. I think maybe that's what it is from but it almost looks a little bit like leather, which I thought was kind of fun. Sometimes it's really hard to pick things up. Oh, I almost dropped it. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Short video. Do I have anything else we can do? So that will open, you know, like that. I think it's fun and this will open to here I think I'm gonna put a tab here so that it's obvious that there is because they're these pages are so close together they kind of it's hard to tell that that's I'm gonna leave this center of the signature just like that I am NOT doing anything to it I just like the picture and I'm leaving it like that um, on this side Hmm. I don't know. I don't know yet. I feel like maybe we could do something here real quick. I think I want to use... Let me see if I can find it. I want to use the image where the guy is standing on all of the railroad ties. And I think it's in here. All right, maybe I've got it in another pile. I have so many piles. When I'm done with this video, I am going to clean up my mess. Okay, I found it. This guy. I think he'll look very nice right here. But I want to cut him down a little bit. And I want to back him with... Some paper that is in here. This I found at a yard sale, so I don't know if it's anything you could still find online or not. I want this, this one. Ah, mess, 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 mess. Look at, I have tons of these little pieces. Goodness. All right, I don't want, I don't know if you can see the shiny up there. I don't want the shiny. Let me see, I want it to be about, maybe about a six inch pocket.
Yeah, I really need to do a clean up. That is for sure. I'm gonna go almost all the way to the edge. Oops, can't see my pencil mark. And then, where did my image go? Where'd I put it? I probably picked it up with all my stack of papers, didn't I? Where'd it go? Oh, I think I see it down in there. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I found it. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. I'm gonna start by cutting off the edge of where it was glued into the book. Just kind of take that yucky edge off. And then, we're covering up most of it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna mark it do our cuts from there. little inking. Not much. I mean, it's really just getting the white edge off where I've cut it. Ink around this one. Again with the Fabri-Tac. This reminds me of Anchorage. I was talking about Anchorage in my last video when I was asking about the perfect place to live. It'd be interesting to see if any of you guys, you know, came up with anything. Maybe I'm packing my bags as we speak. <laughs> I think that looks nice. It's a has a good, you know, border around it. And this image by itself wouldn't have been strong enough to stand up as a pocket. So, I think it's good. Ooh. Maybe I went in a little too far with that glue. When I do a really big pocket like this, I try to give it two strips of glue. And I don't know that that's necessary, but I don't know. I just feel like it's makes it more sturdy, perhaps. Let me get this glue off my fingers.
I'm wanting to put some of maybe this. Let's see what I've got here in a pile. the different um, papers that I have from Darcy that would go down inside and there's a little blue you know to it and I was wondering about I don't want to hit the glue in there I don't know, I think that might be nice. And then I might cut it down slightly. The inside looks like this, but I think that's fine. I might do a little stamping or stenciling on the inside, but I like how it's not just plain white. And then this one has this on the back side. So that also is an option for going down inside of there. We shall see, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. What else do I have? I think I want to go with the blue. There's this one. I would have to do something to the back side of it. I'm not sure. One of them. There's also this one. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one. I'll probably do a little um, inking around it and stuff. But it's nicely decorated already for me. I like this side because of how that is there. I think I'll probably do it like that. And then on this side, I'm gonna do a vellum pocket. I'm gonna just, you know, so this whole thing is gonna be a vellum pocket, so you'll see this, but there'll be something inside. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for today, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, bye. Okay.